Hey guys! In today's video, I'm gonna share with you how I made these cute flowers called the Roses of Sharon. I recently stumbled upon them when I was looking through my botanical book of wildflowers and I decided to try my hand at making them. So I did just that. Now let me show you how they were made. I started by making the petals of the flowers out of 1mm paper strips. You can also use 1.5 or 2mm paper strips if it's too hard for you to work with 1mm. So as you can see, I used 5 paper strips to make each petal of the flower and I glued these strips of paper to each other to make a very long paper strip. That way it's easier to handle it when I roll it and shape it into a petal. As with any new project, this one didn't come without its small challenges, but the end result was worth it because now I have a new flower to add to my collection of quilling flowers. Maybe one day I'll share them with you guys in a separate video. Now uh, back to the Roses of Sharon, there's a variety of them but uh, I chose to make the yellow version because I was really drawn to its very long stamens. I thought it would be very nice to make those long fringes. You will see that very soon. The next step was making the stamens of the flower. For this, I used a 15 mm wide paper strip and glued dark red paper strips on the front and back side of the yellow paper strip at its edge. The dark red line will become the anthers of the stamens as you will see soon. I've been learning new parts of the flowers as you can see to know how to call them when I refer to them. Also, I wanted to mention that my first try at making the stamen failed and so I had to retry but uh, fortunately with the second try I was pleased.
Making the pistol was also a little challenging, but I was happy that I could make it. It would be easier to have a pointy cone tool in order to shape my coil on the cone, but I don't have such a tool so I made it the way I could. I usually try to improvise and use whatever tools or objects I have on hand. For the leaves of the flower, I painted handmade paper with acrylic ink. I have a separate in-depth video on this topic. You can find it on my channel if you just type leaves in the search button. I ran out of acrylic ink in making the paper for the leaves, so I was a bit sad because I didn't have enough paper for the many leaves that I had to make, but I was fortunately able to find another paper that I had painted many months ago and hadn't used. It was of a similar color to the color of the leaves that I had to make, so I was very happy I could use it. This variety of uh, Roses of Sharon has a very rich foliage with quite big leaves.
So uh, this is how my mini version of Roses of Sharon turned out. My favorite thing about them is their stamen. It makes them so unique and cute. Of course, with every new project, there is always room for improvement, but with the amount of time I had on hand for making this flower, I'm very happy with the end result. Well guys, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to give it a like and also subscribe. It's an easy way to let me know you enjoy watching and learning from my tutorials. Thank you very much and see you in my next video.